Great Eats and Healthy Living. It's AC with AC Art of Food, and I am here today with a Funk Food Friday. Yes, it's Friday. It's Friday. Now, usually Fridays are dedicated to, you know, it's the end of the week. You know, you're trying to be eating healthy all earlier in the week, all that good stuff. So, a lot of people choose Fridays as their, like, cheat day. It's fine. Or cheat moment is what we like to say. So not dedicating an entire day to just, you know, falling off the wagon. But, you know, maybe like for, you know, a dinner or for ideally in the morning. So you can still work off all of that that you're going to just funk up. Um, you know, you want to work, burn those calories or whatever that you're going to do when you consume that moment, that cheat moment. But usually people like to partake in wings or pizza or burgers. So I am going to do burgers for my family. However, I do the Dr. Prager's, you know, the protein um, meatless burger. And I have turkey for my family. But I usually do fresh cut fries. And there's nothing wrong with fresh cut fries. It is a vegetable. It's fiber. It's nutrients in it. But I am trying to stay away from potatoes um, pretty much this late at night. But... Of course. What do I find at Aldi? Winning! Look at that! Root vegetable fries. My little find. Now these are parsnips, carrots, and red beets. Gluten-free, good for me. Gluten-free, good for me. Yeah, so we're going to take a look and see how um, this turns out. It's only 110 calories per serving. And... Yeah, 17 pieces. That's pretty good for some fries. And it's at Aldi, of course, is their Simply Nature brand. They're a Simply Nature line. But they have no saturated fat because saturated fat does not lie in vegetables. It doesn't, just doesn't, it's not in there. It's not in there. Photosynthesis, maybe. Well, definitely. But no. No saturated fat. Awesome. Sodium, 170. And um, I want to say... The things that are in here, parsnips, carrots, red beetroot, um, sunflower oil, potato starch, a uh, little flour for the crispness, I'm sure. And usually, you know, cornstarch makes things a lot crispy. So that, um, a rice flour, okay, fine. Um, and a little salt. So we're gonna see, like I said, 110 calories. I'm gonna pop these buddies right here in my air fryer. Gonna spray them with a little olive oil cooking spray. And I'll be back. Yard of food, and I am here on this Saturday, um, shopping, of course, at my favorite store, Aldi. Can you see? Yeah. But you know, they always have some really nice finds at the beginning of the year. You know, everybody is in um, uh, tissy to go ahead and yes, it tissy mm -hmm. to you know start their new workout regimens to start eating like they're supposed to. But what I see that Aldi has done is actually. Um, their new brand of root vegetable fries. Look at that. So it's like the fried, well, you know what? The chips, they already have the chips, the Terra chips that are pretty much like that. But how cool is that for these to be in a fry form? Yeah, look at that. Fiber, whoa, you know, four times the fiber for the serving like that. And the sugars, it's zero added sugar, so that's just the sugars that you get from like your beets and everything that have the natural sugars in them. Okay guys, so they're done and out of the air fryer. Ooh, don't those look good? I'm very excited. So I'm gonna try a beet first. And we know it's a beet because it's red. That's it, okay. Mmm. Oh, that's good. I'm not usually a fan of beets, but I have discovered how you can even take a whole beet and roast it like a potato. And it's really good because it has a texture of that of a potato, but it's just like a little hint of sweet. But these are good. Cause you get that and you get kind of like that potato consistency like you would have if you, you know, were eating a french fry. That's really good. Okay. So, Let's do the parsnip. Mm. Parsnip. Now, parsnip is also a root vegetable that's seasonal. All these are seasonal. Mmm. Tastes the part. And it looks like a fry. It takes on the color of a fry. 
Still trying to work this beat up out of here. Okay. Mmm. Now you know what this is? Mmm. The parsnip tastes more like a subtle... Hmm. I don't even want to say a sweet potato because it's not sweet like a sweet potato. Like I can dip that in ketchup. I can dip it in ketchup and it's still, but that's good. It puts you in the mindset of a, of a fry, but just like with a hint of sweetness, but not as sweet as like a yam or a, a uh, sweet potato. The parsnip is good. That's my point. So much so I had to have another one. That's good. Now, the carrot. Now we already know the carrot is sweet, rich in beta carotene. That's what gives it its beautiful color from the photosynthesis from the sun. Mm -hmm. Yes, the carrot. Okay. I mean, it's carrot. I probably should have roasted, well, Put this in there a little bit longer but then it kind of looks a little i don't want to get burnt i'm not burnt fries i mean but this i mean they're they're cooked very well they have a nice crispness and that coating that rice flour with seasoned coating that's good all of these are good i don't want to say least favorite my favorite i would have to say is the parsnip because it has the look and the color of that of an actual fry that is good. That texture is more so feeling of that. The carrot wasn't so much of a, it needed to be cooked a little bit longer for it to have the consistency of that of, a, of like a fry, put you in a mindset. Cause all, you know, this is a, a funk food. So nothing was deep fried or anything like that. And then this beet is really good though. Come on now. Mm-hmm. And beets. Are red this is red so that means it's good for your blood hmm I like okay so this is second the beets are second so I like the parsnip first because of the color how it looks like a fry how it's not it's not sweet sweet like a sweet potato or anything like that but it has a hint of sweetness which is really good then I'll go with the beet and then the carrot Maybe the kids want the carrot. Something mad wrong with carrots. All of this is good. But remember, for 17 pieces of this, I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. 17 pieces of this is 110 calories. All these simply nature line root vegetable fries. Root vegetable fries. They're found in the frozen food section, the of um of your local Aldi. Go get them. They are delicious. They were right at, if not under, $4 for the bag. And there are approximately five servings in this bag. So get you something. This is this is really good. You don't even have to have it um, like with, with burgers or something like that. You can actually eat these by, your, by themselves. I mean, they're vegetables, right? Mmm. What? So they see what they see are the food, not just Funcho Friday. Where we just simply... Help the rise your junk food faves. Thanks for watching, guys. Go get you some. These root vegetable fries, they're really good. Mmm. Ladies and healthy living. Thanks for watching. See you next Friday.